Hello, welcome to Planners Place, the home of tips and tricks. Today, I'm going to show you a quick way of tracing out of sequence activities in Primavera P6. And this assumes that your schedule setting is, um, it's, is set, your schedule is set to use within logic for out of sequence activities. Um, so to confirm that, if you go to schedule, that's tool schedule, you click option, you see when scheduling progress activities use within use um, the three options within logic progress override or actual date so since i'm i want to have a proper cpm schedule i've kept to uh, within logic so this tutorial is for people who've got this within logic setting and have out of sequence activities and they want to trace it easily so assuming we've got this schedule well, I'm just about 50 or 60 activities. So, if you look here, you see there's kind of a break. Now, if I enable the activity form, go to the relationship tab, X activity. So, let me see. First of all, our data date is um, the 31st of January, 2022. That's fine. So this activity started on the 24th of January. It's got 10 days left, but just 10 days left, remaining duration of 10 days. That should be finishing around the 11th of February and not the 25th. And this activity hasn't started, but it, so it should be starting on the 31st of January, not the 14th since. So if you look at, for this activity has not started, all the predecessors are 100% complete. Their status is shown as completed. But so you expect this activity, activity number 28 to start on the data date, but it doesn't. Now, activity 29, it's in progress. All the predecessors are also completed, so there should be no gaps between the data date and the date shown. So what's happening? So this is what I mean by, because we're using retained logic, there's an out of sequence activity within the network and how do you trace it? What people do is just to go to to pick each predecessor and trace, do a go, to, follow the go to button and trace the logic. <sighs> Imagine you have a, a, a schedule of a thousand activities. How far back would you go? And it's same for this. So here we have um, we had the finish. So this finish date, it's wrong. And for this that has not started, the start date seems to be wrong. So how do we trace this now? Should be a, there should be a simpler way than going all, than following the go to button for all the predecessors. So the trick lies in this activity form on the relation, in the relationship tab. So what I need to do is add two fields, two date fields that will help you add, add, add the date field, basically just one should be fine. Add the date field in the predecessor tab of this relation of the section of the relationship tab so and the field to add is the early date so if you go to let me just go to dates add early start date you add the early start date and from the early start date you can see early start date for completed activities should be the data date. So you can see for activity number seven is the data date of 31st of January. Activity number eight is the data date of 31st of January. But activity number nine has a data date of 11th of February, which shows that something else is driving this activity. To understand why 
earliest start date of completed activities should be on the data date. You can read Ron Winter's um, paper. It's available on my website, and I'll put the, um, the link on the description of this video. So just by adding the early start date, I know the activity causing the out of sequence, this delay here, this gap here, is within, is linked to activity number nine. And also for this, you can see it's the same thing, activity number nine. So let's trace it. So all I need to do is find it, click. Activity six is still showing 11th of February and it's not complete. So we're looking for an activity that's in progress, you see? Voila, it's shown us activity three. It's not complete. It should have been completed, but it's not completed. And it's still retaining that logic. So if we go to activity three, you see this is what's causing the break. So guys, um, ladies and gentlemen, that's a that's a quick way of tracing out of sequence activities in Primavera P6. Just add the early start field to your predecessor tab. Either use predecessor if you're using relationship tab to the predecessors predecessor section or If you've got the predecessor tab on, you just check that, just add the early start date. And for completed predecessors, the early start date should be the data date. If it's not the data date, that's your offending activity. That's the offending activity is linked to that predecessor. So do a, a go to, do a go to against that and it should be fine. So thank you for watching. I'll see you some other time. Take care.